In this question, we're given a pictograph that shows the favorite snacks of students and then a visual representation of the number of students that pick those snacks as their favorite. And what we see is that the number of students that pick cheese as their favorite is missing. So we have to figure that out and fill in the missing information. Okay, so let's start with the key here. And what we notice is that each one of these smiley faces here represents two students. So let's see how many of the students uh, liked Apple. So if that smiley face would be two students there, two students there, two students there, and two students there for a total of eight students liking Apple snacks. All right, let's look at carrots. Well, that smiley face would be two students there, two students there. Now this one is a half of a smiley face. So what we do is we say, well, that would be one student. So for the grand total of students that like carrots as a snack is one, two, three, four, five. All right, let's look at crackers. Well, again, the smiley face would be two students there, two students there for a grand total of four students. Well, how many students do we have so far liking these various snacks? Well, 8 plus 5 plus 4 would give us 17 students so far. Now we're told that the total number of students surveyed is 24. So some number of students will like cheese such that this total here would add up to 24. Well, if we have 17 students so far and we need to make up to 24 students, that means that the number of students that like cheese, we just go 24 minus 17, and that would mean that 7 students would have liked cheese. Let's just verify that. So if I took 17 plus 7, does that equal 24? And it does. Another way to do it is just simply take 8 plus 5 is 13 plus 4 is 17 plus another 7 is 24 and we know we've got the right answer there. So the next step is then, well, how do we represent that visually? Well, we have to represent 7 students liking cheese. So we start with a smiley face, like so, and that would be 2 students. So we need another smiley face for another 2 students and then another smiley face for another two students and then that would so that would be a grand total of two two and two which is six so we need one more student and again if we look up at the carrots we can see we can represent that with half a smiley face so we would put in a half a smiley face with one eye and a little bit of a mouth there and that would be one student so we can see that the total that like cheese two four, six, seven students.